Long time no see, guys. So, we actually filmed this video already um, about a month ago, and I may have accidentally deleted it. Yeah. But Greta she did. told me she was. I was working on it through the card, but Kale thought I was working all, on it through. Well, I didn't know. Always save it on a hard drive. Well, I didn't think you'd watch. actually delete all the footage. Well, it's fine. It's fine. We're here now. So, redoing our spring. It's still spring, luckily. Um, As you can tell, maybe. I look a bit like an alien today. Oh, I, another new development. Yeah, I bleached my brows. It's really fun. I really like it. Um, kind of goes with my bangs. Um, the only annoying thing about it is the upkeep. Like, the first week it looks great, but then you get like, like half of your eyebrow starts growing back, so it's like really speckly. I don't know if you can tell right now, but like Greta's been using this really great, really almost white concealer. concealer, and I put it on a spoolie and it just kind of brush it through. So I'm just doing that today. So we got this palette, as you can see here, by Lottie London on Aesop um, around the holidays, and we haven't used it yet, but we feel like the colors are so springy. Really fun. So we're really excited. To, we were really excited to try just like a really bright, fresh look for spring. Yeah, um, it's gonna be really pretty. Yeah, it's like super pastel -y. and I was actually inspired by a look that um, Katie Jane Hughes on Instagram, if you know her, amazing. She's super cool. One of my favorite Instagram uh, makeup artists um, that she did. I'll link the photo or show the photo better, but it's a really fun multicolor spring eye, and I feel like a lot of the colors are in this palette, so I'm gonna use this palette to create it. And so actually when we filmed the video, I posted the photo to Instagram, <laughs> and she Featured it in her story, and I freaked out. Katie, for watching. Hey, Katie. You. And <laughs> so I was very flattered by that. So now I'm gonna do it again. Let's see how it goes. It's gonna go great. Um, yeah. We've had practice now. Now we've had practice. So uh, Camille and I are both using this palette. We're doing a bit of different looks. I am using green all over my lid, and I'm putting just like a touch of purple in the corners. So just gonna, it's just gonna be like a flower. And for me, there's. Quite a few colors, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with pink all over my lid and then go in the outer corners with orange and then I'll tell you the rest after that. It so looks like a... Starting with this like baby pink color, which I remember from last time, I'm going to mix a bit with this fuchsia because it's not quite the pink there, so I'm going to mix these two to try to achieve that pink and then this orange. Camille's look is more complicated than mine. Yes. But. So today I'm using a brush. I usually use my fingers, but you know what? Okay, let's put this down. I kind of felt fancy. And the professionals use brushes, so we're just going to see how this goes. Oh yeah, this is nice. So with this, I'm going um, all the way up to my where my lash, my eyebrows used to be. Uh, well, they still are there. But um, just going pretty high with this look. And one thing we noticed when we were kind of doing first impressions last time filming this is that these colors are very soft. Yeah, um, but it's not really nice. Like super, you can super see. pigmented, but it's kind of nice since the colors are crazier that you can get like a really, really subtle wash. And I think it's really nice for spring too, you know? It's that kind of pastel-y colors that just makes your face look fresh and fun. But it's really yeah, pretty it's if you layered. just want like a little hint of color. You can just layer. Oh, so nice. Just making sure it's all even Pink eyeshadow is my favorite. I love it. I wear a lot of pink eyeshadow. I like it's. I love doing pink eyes because there's so many different products you can use for it, like blush, lipstick. I love eyeshadows. doing an entirely pink face, like pink eyeshadow, then <laughs> like blush and lips. I just love pink right now. Okay, my pink base done. I'm gonna do orange like here. Also, I'm never really precise when I do my makeup. You know that neither of us are. So I'm just kind of like choo choo like here. <laughs> and if you want to clean up the edges at all, you can just like go in with like. Um, some makeup remover oh, yeah, and a Q-tip. Or sometimes I'll just have like a translucent powder that I brush it along. I like these round um, brushes. Feels like you can really get in there. Look at that. It's kind of annoying right now because I have a bit of eczema on my eye um, eyelids. It makes putting eye eyeshadow on hard because you can really see it. Do you okay. get eczema on your eyelids? Um, not often, but sometimes I'll get it actually under my brow. Okay, next, she used uh, a bright yellow in the inner corners, and there is a beautiful sunshine yellow, like my shirt, in this palette. So you can see my eyes look very, very, uh, 
very green. So I'm going in with this purpley color and just in the corner of my eyes adding a bit of color. Woo! It's yellow there. Just tapping it in the inner I might corners. use my finger for this because... Oh yeah. My makeup right now, one well, of these colors looks like a sunset. Or sunrise. I don't like this. You know what guys? Sometimes things don't work. So I'm taking it off. The first time I filmed this, she just did green and really liked it, but today I just But Camille, decided... I think Camille's look, since it has so many elements to it, I just want to like use so many more colors. But you know what? Sometimes plain is fine, guys. You don't need to go all out and above. The green itself is, you know, kind of unique, so you don't, I you know. don't need anything extra. I know. Okay, let's see what else she uses. Okay, underneath she does like a lilac purple and then an electric purple blue in the corner. So I'm gonna try lilac purple. Okay, I'm gonna use this lilac -y color. Does everyone else just like rub their brushes in the tissue in between shades? Yeah. That's what I always do. I never That's know. That's what I do. I don't know the proper way. This is pretty. I like this. I love that. Do you think this is weird if I go like this to Soul Cycle? Would you guys be weirded out if you saw me at Soul Cycle like this? <laughs> I'm just adding. You can just really build with this. It looks so pretty. Yes, I'm putting like a bit of purple on it. It looks like the colors of a pansy. You know? You know pansy flowers? Wait, my eyes? Yeah. You know pansies? Which was the pansy? With the bright yellow center thing. Yeah. Yeah. And the four leaves. Ah! I'm done. Well, for now. For my... I'm almost there. So just sweep in that purple underneath the lid along the lash line. The last step is she puts this really bright royally blue. I don't have a color quite like it, so I'm gonna use this like there's like an indigo color in the palette. She puts blue in it? Where? Um I think it would be actually kind of a mix of these two, so let's yeah. just try it. <laughs> let's just try it. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. It looks like perfect spring, you know? It doesn't have to be exact. That was so fun. I have <laughs> rainbows all over my you eyes. You do. It looks beautiful. So, next step to finish off our eyes, we're gonna just put on some mascara. Benefit. Benefit. It's pretty good. Last launch there, I mascara and I really wanna try it. It looks. The reason I like it is it's the reason I like roller lashes, it elongates lashes, and they look thin and. Uh, not gloopy? Natural. Not thick, and I don't like the voluminous lash look. I like that per just personally, I feel like it kind of looks heavy. And especially in spring, I want that light, long, fluttery lash. Yeah, you just want it to look light and natural. I think I did this better than the first time. I think I did too, actually. Yeah. So it was worth it in the end. <laughs> Camille has such beautiful lashes after using Eye Envy. I yeah, really envy her eyes. You're the naturally... Well, like, I also have long lashes. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they, like, don't curl like hers. They just kind of jut out. Mm -hmm. So I probably should have curled. Oh, who cares? I don't care. I do tops and bottoms for the mascara. Um, so one thing I'm going to add today. So if you look at her look, it is a slightly, slightly metallic um, on the eye. So I'm going to use some of this, um, the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer, it's like a pearlescent blush. I'm going to use it on my cheeks just for some freshness, but I'm going to dab a bit on my eye as well. It, where? Just in the center, just for a bit of glow, oh, highlight on the eye, and nice. it's kind of, it's a blush, so it's like in the same family as the colors on my eyes. So you're using that on your cheeks too? Yeah. Well, I'm not using blush today because I'm going to have pretty blush lips, so I'm going to be using my new favorite highlighter, which is this NYX Strobe of Genius. Um, it is so fun. It's in this, in the, there are two, oh, holographic stick, yeah. It's just so fun. It's, that's really, uh, Electric Invasion is the color. It's like kind of duochrome, violet-y, ultraviolet-y. And I, sometimes if I feel like having just a dewy but shiny face, I put this like on my lids, on my cheeks. Guys, look at this highlight, it's pretty nice. It's really nice. So, and also it's like really hydrating and so shiny. So I'm just gonna take some on my ring finger and I'm just gonna tap it right in the center of my eye, just from my Do you um, see do you see this though? I know, it's crazy. It has this pretty blue iridescence to it. I just put that all over my cheeks. BAM! Glossy cheeks. Oh yeah. Yeah, put some on my nose. Well, that's so cute. 
Ooh. Oh, we're looking so nice in spring. Okay. So, last step is I recently bought. Where's my, where's where's my lipstick? Here it is. Oh, she stole it. So I recently bought uh, the Dior lip glow that everyone wears, and I've seen so many times, and I do love it. it does really give your lips a nice flush tint. Um, so I have so much ground in the eye, I just want kind of a glossy, fresh looking lip. So I love this product that I'm using. It's the Winky Lux uh, Flower Jelly uh, Lipstick in pink. And it just leaves your lips with such a nice pink color. Um, I usually put on uh, like a lip balm first. Just because with these oils, they're not like super hydrating. So put that on first so I get a bit creamy. And this goes on and it works its magic look. Do you see how it's just like pink? I use this all the time if I just want a little color to my lips. It's nice. great. Great. I love it so much. Um, so we hope you liked these spring looks. These I... looks. Don't we look really springy? It's a really fun time, I think, to start playing with like colors, flower colors. I mean, we, I play with pink all winter, but you know. But they don't have to be Yellow. crazy. They can be just like a little splash of color in your eyes. Or you can just make your eyes look like a fucking flower. Yeah, and if this is too much, you know, just putting um, a blush on your eyes in the, like a little bit of a blush on your eyes in the spring and like a bit of a highlight and glossy lip, I think is the goes a long way. Freshest. Fun look. Anyway, You're so fresh. Um, I hope to bring a, uh, hope to do another video soon and not have so long of a hiatus. But yeah, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> things are pretty busy sorry, for us, but um, we'll be seeing yeah. you guys soon with some really cool looks. We so hope you enjoyed our video. Yeah, and if you liked it, please subscribe to our channel because we'll have more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.